Neutrino versus Apache Spark. I'm constantly on the lookout for how technologies compare one to another. In this post we take two big names in the big data game, Apache Spark and Trino, formerly Presto SQL, while both are fantastic for distributed querying, they each have their strengths and weaknesses. Here's my take on when to choose Trino over Spark. Speed Demon, Trino for interactive analysis. Trino shines when it comes to blazing fast query execution. Need to slice and dice your data from various sources in real time. Trino's your guy. Its in-memory processing and pipelined architecture allow concurrent execution of different stages in a query plan. This means you get results quicker, especially for iterative analysis, where you're constantly refining your queries. Spark, on the other hand, can be slower for interactive use cases due to its staged execution model. Trino speed secrets. In-memory processing. Trino keeps frequently accessed data in memory on worker nodes. This eliminates the need for constant disk reads from HDFS or S3, significantly reducing latency. Spark, on the other hand, writes intermediate data to disk by default, adding an extra I.O. step. Pipelined execution. Trino breaks down queries into stages and executes them concurrently. As soon as the data for one stage is ready, the next stage can begin processing without waiting for the entire query to finish. This pipelined approach keeps all resources utilized efficiently. Spark generally executes stages sequentially, potentially creating idle time. Columnar processing. Trino leverages columnar data formats like Parquet, which store data for each column contiguously. This allows Trino to only read the specific columns needed for a query, reducing data movement and processing time compared to row-oriented formats. Spark can also work with columnar formats, but Trino's architecture is specifically optimized for them. Pushdown optimizations. Trino pushes down filter and projection operations closer to the data source, HDFS3. This means less data needs to be transferred back to the cluster for processing, further improving efficiency. Spark can also do pushdowns, but Trino's focus on querying makes it potentially more aggressive in these optimizations. Lightweight design. Unlike Spark, Trino is a query engine focused on a single task, fast querying. It doesn't have the overhead of a general-purpose distributed processing framework. This translates to lower resource consumption and faster startup times. Why not just use Spark? While Spark is a powerful tool, it's not always the best fit for interactive analysis or querying large datasets. Spark staged execution. Spark executes queries in stages, which can be slower for interactive use cases where you're constantly refining your analysis. Trino's pipelined execution provides a more immediate response. Resource overhead. Spark's broader functionality can be resource intensive. If your primary goal is fast querying from HDFS S3, Trino's lightweight design makes it more efficient on your existing hardware. Focus on SQL. Trino's pure SQL approach makes it easier to write and understand queries, especially for data analysts who are already comfortable with SQL. Spark SQL might require some Java Scala programming for advanced tasks. Trino excels at fast interactive querying on data stored in HDFS or S3, thanks to its in-memory processing, pipelined execution, and optimizations for columnar data formats. While Spark offers broader functionality, Trino's streamlined design and focus on SQL querying make it a compelling choice for specific use cases. SQL simplicity. Speak the language of data. If you're a SQL pro, Trino will feel like a warm hug. It supports a wide range of standard SQL functionality, making it easy to write and understand queries. This is a big win for data analysts who can focus on the logic without wrestling with complex syntax. Spark SQL, while powerful, can involve some Java Scala programming for advanced functionalities, adding another layer of complexity. Resource light. Keep your cluster lean. Trino is a lightweight champion. It's designed specifically for querying and doesn't require the overhead of a general-purpose distributed processing engine like Spark. This translates to less resource consumption on your cluster, allowing you to squeeze more performance out of your existing hardware. Spark, being a broader framework, can be more resource-intensive. The trade-offs, when Spark takes the lead. While Trino excels in specific areas, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Here's where Spark might be a better choice. Big Data Batch Processing Need to crunch massive datasets in a single go. Spark's distributed processing capabilities are hard to beat. It can handle data volumes that might overwhelm Trino. Fault Tolerance If data loss is a major concern, Spark's fault tolerance is a lifesaver. It can recover from partial failures and continue processing, something Trino isn't designed for. Machine learning and more. Spark's a multi-purpose workhorse. 
It goes beyond SQL, allowing you to build machine learning pipelines and perform other complex data manipulations within the same framework. Trino focuses purely on querying. The verdict. Here's my cheat sheet. Interactive analysis and speed. Trino. Large batch processing. Spark. Resource efficiency. Trino. Fault tolerance. Spark. Machine learning integration. Spark. SQL simplicity. Trino. So, the next time you're wrangling data, consider these factors to pick the right tool for the job. Both Trino and Spark are powerful options, and understanding their strengths and weaknesses will make you a more efficient data warrior.